Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video is subject, How to Travel with a Cat in the Car. Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Calm your cat during a car trip by sitting next to it so it can see and smell you. Talk to the cat softly so it hears your voice. Some cats need their carriers veiled in a blanket to block out unnecessary stimuli so they don't panic at the sight of the world rushing by. Other cats will benefit from calming music or pheromone sprays. While it's fair to say that most cats probably hate or highly dislike car rides, that's certainly not always the case. However, felines can find car rides quite stressful, if nothing else. After all, cars are loud, a bit jolting, have a different smell than what they're used to at home, and the list goes on. When it comes to your role as an owner, the objective is obviously to make your cat as calm and content as possible, especially if the car ride in question just can't be avoided, like a trip to the vet. Our goal here today is to simply provide you with a little assistance. Let's first begin with a few symptoms that could reveal anxiety in your cat. After all, not all distress is blatantly obvious. When cats are exposed to the unfamiliar, especially within an area where there is no escape, like a vehicle, things can take a negative turn. Your pet could start to become extremely stressed. Here are just a few natural indicators that your cat is just not happy with this new adventure. These are especially noteworthy for you if your cat has never traveled before. First, we have extreme duress and agitation. Next, excessive salivation, nausea and vomiting, trembling, attempting to escape. This can cause a major problem for the most obvious of reasons as it's very difficult to focus on the road ahead with chaos of this sort in the vehicle. Next, we have yowling or loud meowing, panting, scratching at the carrier, soiling the carrier bedding, and aggression, and even hissing. While most of these speak for themselves, the ability to quell these situations is the top priority for everyone involved. So, the meltdown is well underway. Are you just wishing you could turn back the clock and do things differently? Before your cat freaks out, put together a game plan in advance of your cat's road adventure. For that, we offer up the following tips. Let's start off with choosing a comfortable cat carrier. It all starts with physical comfort, building a content foundation. Your cat's carrier should be roomy and durable, not a tight-fitting box. Your pet needs to be able to stand up, turn around, and relax in a comfortable fashion. Nothing huge inside, but a carrier that doesn't scream entrapment. In many cases, this is where the meltdown begins. It's not always the vehicle, it's the feeling of being captured and locked down in what amounts to a shoebox. This is why making the carrier pet friendly is so important. Consider lining the bottom of the carrier with a familiar blanket. In respect to preparing your cat for the carrier, put it to use in your home. Even a carrier with the very best comfort will still be foreign land for your cat if the first experience is the actual car ride. In order to combat this issue, allow your cat to become familiar with the carrier for a week or even two. Let your cat see it, smell it, rest in it, and so on. Allow your cat to have the full carrier experience from the comfort of your home. That way, when the big road trip day arrives, your cat won't be scared of getting inside and relaxing. The goal is to make your cat look at the carrier as a source of comfort while being inside of your vehicle. Next, we have the smell of the car. Before you hit the road, allow your cat the opportunity to smell the interior of your vehicle. Here again, it's all about becoming familiar with new environments rather than being blindsided by everything all at once. Next up, we have 
tire your cat out before the trip. Another tip is to play with your cat just hours or even minutes before traveling. The objective is to tucker your cat out, as they say. This could make the journey on the road all the more peaceful, especially if the aforementioned positive associations with the carrier and the car have already been made. On a related note, you could also offer up a small meal. This could reduce the risk of motion sickness. And next we have medicinal remedies to calm your feline. When it comes to the medical angle, it is our strong suggestion to contact your vet, especially if your cat has traveled with you in the past and had a very negative experience. Anxiety applications can be given to calm your cat's nerves and make the trip a success. Simply contact your vet and express your concerns. You'll be guided in the right direction. And it must be stated, do not give your cat medication that is designed for human use. Do not do it. Our final planning tip involves a practice run. If everything is set up and all the other steps have been taken, take a short drive. You don't have to go the same distance. Just drive long enough to allow your cat to get a feel for things. Use this time to get an idea of your cat's demeanor. And if any changes need to be made before the real trip, all of these tips are key, especially if your cat has never traveled before. Now, let's transition to the road. It's the big day. What happens if things begin to go a bit sour? How can you successfully calm your cat without having to abandon ship and return home? Once again, we offer up the following suggestions. First up, remain seated next to your cat or move to where your cat is located within your vehicle if your cat is resting and sitting alone. Never allow your cat to feel like they're on an island all by themselves. Sit next to your pet during the drive. Reassure your cat with a soft voice. Reach into the carrier and give your cat a few gentle pets. And if you're the one behind the wheel, place the carrier as close to you as possible without it being a potential danger for you as you drive. Talk to your pet. Allow your cat to see and smell you. It's the little things, the moments of reassurance, and they can work wonders. And while it should go without saying, drive sensibly. Be on your very best behavior behind the wheel. Avoid any unnecessary jolts and swift turns if you can help it. While you certainly can't control everything on the road, always do your very best to control what you can. The calmer the vehicle, the more your cat's nerves will likely remain in check. Next we have play music that is appropriate <laughs> in your car. Your choice of music can calm the situation. Music that is soothing can often do the trick. The sounds of nature, running water, ocean waves, even that white noise. And also, what about this one? Cat-centric music. I've personally never heard of it before, but the sounds of cats purring. Hey, it could be stress relieving. Next, we have an increase or a decrease in your cat's visual stimuli. This is all about getting a read on your pet. Some cats will calm down when they're able to see the world around them while traveling, while others will want to be sheltered as peace is found within their very own bubble. During the test run or test drive that we noted earlier, take stock of what your cat seems to enjoy and what also brings your cat a bit of stress. Play to the positive during the actual trip. Next, we have our final two. The temperature, as in the interior temperature of your vehicle, and the ability to avoid pit stops if possible. These are our final two pieces of advice. Keep the temperature in a comfortable range. Mimic your home if possible. Give your cat physical comfort in this regard and avoid those unnecessary stops. The sooner the trip is over, the better. Taking breaks could stir up an otherwise content cat and potentially make an anxious feline even more on edge. Slow and steady wins the race. Keep on keeping on right down the road, if possible. And just an FYI, if you would like more information dedicated to each piece of advice and the suggestions we've offered here today, we'll tell you how to find them momentarily because, believe you me, we just scratched the surface. So what if you ask, hey, all that sounds great, but I don't have a carrier. Or let's say you have a carrier, but your cat just wants nothing to do with it, thus making it off limits for a successful trip. Are there other measures you can take? Absolutely. Let's start with a cat leash. If someone in the vehicle can physically hold and comfort the cat, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with simply using a basic leash. Keep a firm hand at the ready should things get a bit too stressful and stress-filled. You don't want the cat to be totally free of the car. 
as this could obviously disrupt driving. Next up, we have a sports bag. Some cats just want to be super comfortable. A sports bag is a great option. As long as the bag has a smooth base and is well ventilated, it could and should work like a charm. You can also add your cat's favorite blanket just to make travel more accommodating. It must be said that for so much as carriers do, and they do serve a wonderful purpose, they can be a bit intimidating. Sometimes it's best to use familiar comforts in order to get your cat to display that comfortable behavior. Next, we have a good old-fashioned cardboard box. If you're in need of a carrier of sorts, a cardboard box can work as long as it is properly secured and ventilated. Place your cat's favorite blanket. That's a theme, by the way, if you haven't noticed that favorite blanket. Place it inside and you're well on your way. And finally, the old-fashioned laundry basket. Place familiar items, here we go again, inside while petting and talking to your pet for the duration of the trip. It goes without saying that some of these suggestions certainly work better if you have multiple people on board for the trip. However, if you're in a bit of a pickle, as they say, and the trip is fairly short, a laundry basket could work. Just as long as someone is seated near the cat to provide both physical and emotional comfort and support. And if you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, and there is indeed so much more, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Before we close things out, how do you travel with your cat? Do you use a carrier? Perhaps other recommendations that were featured here in this video? Please let me know. Hit me up in the comments section. I'd love to read about how you travel with your ever so precious cargo. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.